Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to have a look at my scratch built FPV platform. I always like experimenting with build techniques and materials and with this one I just wanted to try uh, using 3mm core plast for the tail, uh, an arrow shaft for the boom and just a sort of an XPS foam fuselage. This is a hot wire cut wing. There's no spar in it, it doesn't really need it. 600 millimeter flat section, 300 millimeters each end, and they're just sort of angled up about 30 millimeters at the tips for a little bit of dihedral, and the ailerons are just in the tip section. I'll give you some dimensions. I, uh, I don't have a plan or anything, I, I may make one up, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see. I'll give you a link in the description if I get around to making up a plan. So 35 millimeter ailerons and they are 27 millimeters long. The wing is just rubber banded on. The fuselage is solid XPS foam uh, that is about 55 by 60 millimeters. Uh, and I've just sort of uh, scooped out a a bay for the battery and I was going to put the flight control board in there as well. I've actually got the flight control board just sitting up on the back for the moment but I'll, I'll play with this. ESC is just inside. The motor, I can't even tell you what the motor is, it's a slow revving, revving motor off a, a glider of some sort because I've got that folding prop on it. Uh, that's an eight and a half inch prop by six inches or something like that so it's a nice sort of uh, slow flying glidey sort of motor. The wing cord is 20 centimeters. Clark Y, it started off at, as, and I stretched it out and thinned it down so that it's 10% uh, airfoil section. Nice flat bottom for the most part. When it sits on the fuselage on the flat bottom, that, that actually gives it a few degrees of uh, nose up angle of attack. So that seems to be working out pretty well. I did put a little bit of uh, angle on the tail boom so that the, the tail sits up a little bit to again give it a, bit, a little bit of a um, few degrees difference between the tail plane and the uh, wing. And that seems to be about right. A couple of servos, just uh, cheapo servos, servos down on the tail there. Got a little GPS sitting up on the tail there. Uh, Maytech F405 wing board there. Express LRS receiver just glued on the tail there. So the fuselage is just a, a kind of a, a square or a rectangle of foam. And I, as I said, I scooped out the battery bay there and then just sort of carved it down to fair it into the uh, rear section there. Everything's just hot glued on, quick and easy build, uh, and it flies very well actually. The tie downs, I printed up some plastic. Uh, brackets there to glue onto the sides of the fuselage and then a, a carbon rod going through there to attach the rubber bands to. Just uh, icy pole sticks on the wing to stop it biting in, covered with uh, coloured packing tape. So the battery bay, I, I scooped that out with the hot wire cutter uh, and then just glued on some 3mm core plast either side as cheeks to sort of fill it in and a 3mm uh, core plast top on the battery bay there, glued on a little bit of plywood at the nose and just screwed the motor onto that. I, I was thinking of putting twin motors on the wings, which I may still do. This actually works out quite nose heavy, so I could have made the tail uh, a little bit longer. Something I might play with. Tail dimensions, I know people will ask me about that. So that is 30, 35 millimetres width of the tail and that goes from 150 millimeters tapering down to 90 millimeters there. The elevator is 35 millimeters. The vertical tail is 180 from front to back. Uh, the rudder is uh, 45 tapering down to 35 at the top. Height of the rudder is, or vertical stabiliser is, 190 millimetres. And I have a couple, a couple of little bits of bracing core plast in there as well. 
that's just hot glued onto that arrow shaft there. Flying weight with a 4S 18650 in the nose is about 825 grams. So it's very light wing loading, so it's nice and glidey and can cruise along nice and slowly. And someone is going to ask me the length of the tail boom. I think that was about 600 millimeters. So the distance between the, the tail and the back of the wing is 25 centimeters. And the arrow shaft goes from the back of the tail there, uh, probably into the front of the wing, uh, just gouged out a, a groove in the top of the foam and, and glued it into there with uh, Gorilla Glue. I think that is about 600 millimeters long. And we have, a, what is it? It's only about an 18 amp. ESC in there, it's a pretty mild performance. 18 amp plush, Turnergy plush ESC in there. Pretty low current draw, nothing more than about five amps for cruising around. Uh, maybe eight amps going a bit quicker. So I'll put uh, an FPV camera on here and uh, we'll go out and have a look at how it flies. It's a beautiful day, zero wind, which is really weird. I'm always used to flying in wind. Uh, so I have an 18654S and I have to put it back a fair bit to get the CG right because it's a bit nose heavy. Uh, nose is a little bit too long maybe. Um, but we'll just let the satellites get acquired and uh, we'll see how she flies. Bit of wind coming from that direction, but that's where the sun is, unfortunately. Anyway, we'll give it a go. We're in acro mode, actually, but that'll do. Flying okay. Requiring a fair bit of throttle. It's just a very mild performance plane, I think. manual mode there now and it's climbing a fair bit but the auto trim will take care of that there we go oh it's a very nice smooth mild flyer definitely going nose up is that a bit tail heavy maybe We'll fly around a bit to get those auto trims going. Angle mode. Acro mode. So that was very, very mild performance. Uh, I could do with more roll authority so I can move my um, push rod out to the outer hole in the servo arm. Uh, plenty of elevator, that's no dramas at all. Mostly the roll and a really, really mild motor. I could put a, put a bigger prop on. Uh, actually, I have a bigger folding prop, I might try that. Or change to a higher KV motor. But yeah, it's nice cruising around anyway. Maximum current uh, draw is about 10 amps, so uh, it's pretty mild. <laughs> Zooming off in cruise mode. Acro now. Got an 18650, so don't worry about the battery warnings. picking up now. I really do need a higher KV motor to punch into the wind.
nice tight loops but the rolls are ridiculously slow I have to get up high to do the roll there's the roll Wee. <laughs> it's in full manual too loops are tight just going to cruise around nicely But I would say this is very much a success. I just need to uh, increase the performance a little bit. It's very stable, uh, cheap, easy to build, easy to work on. I like it. Mild and glidey. Could probably even catch it, but I won't. Makes a change from the twins and the pushes too. Very nice indeed. So I've changed to outer hole on the servo arm and in one more hole on the control horn. It's given us a lot more throws. Let's try that. better yeah giving a better roll right now feels more responsive Nice and quiet this plane, it's good. Yeah, that's better. What a lovely little plane. Almost made it home. Very nice. Okay, that'll do. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.